Hello. My name is Monsignor Joe Solano. I'm the pastor of Immaculate Conception Church in Somerville and the vicar for administration for the Diocese of Metuchen. I once heard somebody remark that if you really want to find out what's important to people, read their bumper stickers. Over the past several weeks, it seems to me that I have seen more Keep Christ in Christmas magnets on people's bumpers than I've seen before, and that's probably a good thing. But I often wonder, what does Keep Christ in Christmas really mean? You know, on one level, I think we all know what it means. It's a reminder not to forget who and what stands at the very center of this season. But there's a little bit more to it than that. St. John Paul II once wrote in his apostolic letter, Incarnationis Mysterium, which promulgated the great Jubilee year 2000. He said, the birth of Jesus in Bethlehem is not an event that can be consigned to the past. The whole of human history, in fact, stands in reference to him. Our own time and the future of the world are illuminated by his presence. He is the living one, who is, who was, and who is to come. To keep Christ in Christmas means to keep Christ in the center of all things, and to live in such a way that it actually shows. John Paul II also rightly observed that the Incarnation is not a past event. It continues. Jesus assumed our humanity and was born in time of the Virgin. But his human nature, glorified in his resurrection from the dead, is now exalted at the right hand of the Father. Jesus never ceases to be fully human in the same way that he never ceases to be fully divine. Because of this, our humanity has been raised up to the very life of God. The great bishop and doctor of the church, St. John Chrysostom, once told the Christians of Constantinople that if we cannot recognize Christ in the beggar at the church door, then we will never recognize him in the chalice. Keeping Christ in Christmas is to feed the hungry. It is to clothe the naked. It is to forgive an injury. It is to defend the unborn and all those whose fundamental human dignity is denied them. It is to visit the imprisoned and the sick, and it is not to turn our backs on our own. My brothers and sisters, Christmas is not a day. It is an event, and this event continues in the incarnation of the Son of God. It is His humanity that we encounter every single day in his suffering brothers and sisters. So if you want to keep Christ in Christmas, then place Christ in the center of all things. Place him in the center of your life and live in a way that it shows.